Hi guys, my name is Lindsay if you're new here. I'm doing the 12, 12 days of Vlogmas starting the 13th. Today is Thursday, December 12th. I'm at 5 a.m. and I'm doing vlogs every day until Christmas. And I tried to do Vlogmas last year and I just really didn't know what to film. Um, like I literally was doing nothing all day, like besides studying obviously. And so this year I thought 12 days of Vlogmas sounds better to me and I feel like it won't, I'm not gonna jinx it, that it's not gonna be hard to film and upload every single day, but it's gonna be fun. Challenging, but fun. So yeah, today I have a lot to do. I'm going thrifting with my sister in the city because I'm going to get her, she still has exams, she has one today, but I was putting my contacts in my eyes and I put my left one in my eye and I blink a few times, like you know how you kind of have to like adjust it. I blink a few times and I still can't see out of my eye, but <laughs> The contact is somewhere in my eye and I'm like, I can feel something in my eye. I can't see where the heck is this contact that went into my eye. Okay, so back to the story. So yeah, there was something in my eye. I couldn't see and I was like, where the heck did it go? So I look up, like I literally felt it in my eye. So I looked up, can a contact go to the back of your eyeball? And they said no, because they, other people have had this happen to them, so I was like, okay, at least I'm not like going insane, but it's in there. <laughs> so I had to close my eye and do this, and it came down from under my eyelid. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but that was like so scary, because I was like, it was like the day before an exam, the morning before I had an exam too, so I was like really stressed. That I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital and get this surgically removed. But yeah, today I have to, we're going thrift shopping return a water bottle that I bought on Amazon that I didn't want to return in Toronto because I didn't know where the Canada Post locations were and I know where it is in my town and I have till January 31st so I thought I'll just do it today because it leaks that's why I'm returning it and then I have to edit this vlog this video I'm probably gonna put this video up first before the thrift haul so yeah we're going thrifting oh, I'm not gonna talk too much about that because I already talked about that in the video, the other video, you'll see what's happening and then I have to go get my gym membership for my gym here. I'm probably going to go to the gym after I get my membership. And then I am going to the Source, which is like a phone store, I guess. Yeah, it's like an electronic Canadian, no, it's like a Best Buy, but a smaller version of it. So we're going to the Source and I'm getting a new phone because <clears throat> I have the iPhone 8 right now. There's nothing really wrong with it, it just... The sound got messed up one time, and it just hasn't been the same. And I've wanted a bigger size phone, so I'm gonna get the black iPhone 11. It just has the two cameras. I have to do that, so I have to like trade in this one, see how much I get for that, and then I have to like switch up our family plan too, because I'm getting data, and it's just like a lot. 100% organic cold pressed rosehip oil on first, and then I put Moisture Rescue by Garnier. I'm gonna put on foundation today because I really need a foundation that matches my skin right now. This one I use in the summer, kind of. It's not the worst match. I'll just add like a bunch of concealer and then mix that somehow. We're just gonna work with what we have. I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender. Like, that doesn't look too off, I don't think. Also, for some of these videos, or at least one of them, probably not some, because there's only 12. I want to do like another case. So if you have any recommendations for a case I should research and tell the story of, let me know. Bella Fury, she does like the seven days of Mystery Monday, I guess, which I'm so excited for. She's going to do 12, but she said she can only do seven, which I totally understand because it takes so much effort to film and research those videos. But I think this is fine. If you were wondering what foundation I use. The best, honestly, I don't know if this is a Canadian brand. I think it is because they sell that at Shoppers. I only really, really know of it because I work there, but it's so good. It's the Derma Blend Drop Foundation. It came out when I worked there and it's so good. It's just so like glowy. Like I literally can wear this and not wear highlighter. I don't know if that's just my skin being oily, but <laughs> and it covers so well. And It's the Camouflage Matte Concealer by Essence. It's waterproof apparently. It's not my favorite, but it's just what I had, so. I literally, oh my gosh, I used to be so into makeup. But recently, not recently, like the past year, I just could not really care less about like doing it every day. Like well every day, you know, like you see like 
it's fun to do once you do it and I wish I was as good as some people. My favorite product for when I literally just want to leave the house and put on like a foundation. I don't like putting on liquid foundation because I just feel gross and like it's stuck on my face. It just feels like sticky and ew I hate stickiness. So I got this for free when I worked at Shoppers at the first time. And then I bought it again because it was so, I just, it was so nice. So it's the 4-in-1 Pure Cosmetic. 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup with SPF 15. It's like, I think the 4-in-1 means like concealer, foundation, sunscreen, and powder, I guess. It's like this. This is in blush medium. It's like full coverage, basically. Like for me, like unless you had like a lot of blemishes and stuff, it may not be the best option, but it works so well. Um, so I highly recommend that. It is a bit more expensive, I guess. It was like $40 for that. I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer from this. Get the Pretty Started little palette they did a few years ago. Not a few years ago, like a year ago. And it has that, the California blush and the What's Up highlighter, which is actually a really nice cream highlighter. I, re I remember people were like angry about that when I was looking at the reviews, but honestly, I like it. It's like, putting on blush, I like putting on a lot of, not a lot of blush, but a fair amount just to make my cheeks look alive, you know? I feel like that's been the trend lately, like putting on more blush than you would. Like remember when blush was not a thing at all and people just contour the hell out of their face. Contour my nose because I feel like I've been insecure with my nose or something. <laughs> That's what contour is for. So I feel like it looks really orange right now. See I really don't know how to do this. Then I'm just going to put on the What's Up highlighter with my finger and then blend it out with the be my beauty blender. Just gotta warm it up a little or it won't like. Like look how shiny she is. It's just like it's I feel like the age of really dramatic contour and highlight is over and it's more about just like dewy and like unkissed with your blush. I don't know. I prefer this kind of look than like the heavy contoured. But everyone can do as they please. People can do whatever they want to their face. My eyebrows are a mess right now so we're gonna try and pluck them a little bit. Pluck them a bit. I don't think I want to fill them in today because... I just feel like I don't need to fill them in because they literally always look like they're filled in. But I'm going to put on this definer, this like brow contour pro pencil thing from Benefit. I was about to dip this in here. That's great. And then I'm just going to take my Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara thing. And brush them out. Now onto mascara. I really need a new mascara curler. Oh my god, a new eyelash curler. This one is just it's literally broken, like the spring's gone. I haven't bothered to get a new one, I guess. So that's on my list of things to buy. Why am I blanking on how to do this? It just doesn't feel like I'm done my second semester of school. My second first semester, second year of my program. I really enjoyed this year, way more than last year so far, honestly, like no sewing. Also they're changing the entire curriculum in the Ryerson Fashion um, School. Oh my god, what am I saying? Like there's still gonna be design and communication things, but you have like a concentration, like there's fashion studies, like textile management or something, and I'm so angry because I had to sew and these, you, you literally have so many options in these programs of like electives and stuff and I'm like, I would have like imagine, oh, it just bothers me because it, I mean, I'm glad that they change it for the future, but that kind of like idea of a fashion, like not having two specific programs, having like different like concentrations, I guess, is like so common around other fashion schools that I guess Ryerson was one of the last to do it, but honestly, I know it takes a long time to get like a curriculum change and stuff and the program I'm in now, it's still beneficial. I feel like I always thought that it was a good fashion school and really innovative that they even had a fashion communication program. So I'm not complaining about that. I just sad that I missed it by two years. <laughs> I'm excited for the future students that get to experience that. I get to take the coolest courses next semester and I'm so excited. Like I'm so excited to take marketing to be honest. Like I took international business in grade 12 and I really enjoyed that. And I've been wanting to take like a business course. So I'm really excited because that's a required course. Then my required courses are 
marketing, fashion, photography, communication design too, and illustration too. I'm not excited for illustration just because I don't enjoy drawing, but only one more of those classes left. And communication design I really like, so. And then my two electives are fashion journalism, and then I get like a random elective and I'm taking criminology, which I'm so excited about because I, I like true crime and that kind of thing. I know it's not like you learn about cases and stuff, it's more like criminal justice kind of how like that's dealt with and stuff it's a criminology course it's understanding crime in canada so i guess it's i think you'd still do research cases and stuff i don't really know i haven't taken it yet but i'm so excited for that and then fashion journalism i don't know yet like i love writing and i feel like it'll be really cool because i've always wanted to like work in magazines and magazine editing but like i don't know what the writing aspect but i haven't written in a while and i'm kind of wanting to do something that's not Honestly, that's true. It's not a lot of creative things or like visual creatives. It's more like written expression of yourself, I guess. So maybe I'll stay with it. I'll probably stay with it, to be honest. I'm just going to spray this Thermal Spring Water by La Roche-Posay. Roche it's just like mineral water, basically. I don't have my Urban Decay setting spray right now, so this is going to do. Um, but yeah, that's the makeup look I'm doing today. It did not take me that long, but I edit this down, obviously. And then my hair is just being natural and annoying. I hate it somehow. Oh, wow. Okay, don't. I'm looking at my big mirror behind me and my eyebrows look way worse than they do on camera. Oh my goodness. Um, I just forgot. I may do some eyeshadow just for fun. You can really see my veins when there's like nothing in them. <laughs> nothing in them. You can really see my veins when I don't have any eyeshadow on. Let's blend some bronzer into them. Okay, that's not awful. It's just not blending like I'd like it to. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this Get Ready With Me. Sorry if I ramble on. And um, this is like more than my everyday makeup routine. Like I literally takes me like, I literally just do like that, found, that powder foundation and mascara and maybe highlighter and brush up my eyebrows like daily. But I decided, decided to do something like this because... One, I can make it a video, and two, I can be vlogging all day, so, in public. So, makes me feel more confident when I have makeup on, and that's not a bad thing. If that's, if it makes you feel more confident to wear makeup, do you, and don't let people tell you that you should feel confident without makeup. It's not a bad thing, and people should wear as much as they want to put on their face, and just don't judge other people for wearing if makeup if they want to wear makeup. I don't know. And turn on the post notifications for every single day, because I'm going to... Try and post every single day. I'm not gonna try it. I'm gonna like try my hardest. But yeah, literally none of my friends are home yet and they're literally not home for another week. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of me. Kiki's home tomorrow. So maybe you'll see some of him. I'll see you guys when I see you guys next. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll stop rambling now and I'll see you in my next video. Keep bye. Mm. Uh. Oh, baby, you've been